Hello everyone, how's it going today? I wanted to do a video today talking about paywalls in GTA Online and why it's bad for the game overall. This topic is very relevant to GTA Online because there will still be future updates and it's relevant to Red Dead Online if an economy will be in the online. What are paywalls in case anyone is wondering? A paywall is a wall in regards to you trying to purchase something in-game. It prevents you from doing so. Almost every single update has paywalls now. An example of the most recent paywall, for instance, is in the After Hours DLC. It's the fact that you need a nightclub in order to own a terabyte. I never understood this logic. I had a subscriber message me the other day, I don't want to buy a nightclub to own a terabyte. I told them, you don't need the nightclub, but then I realized that you do need the nightclub to get the terabyte. I forgot this, because I own everything in game, so this doesn't really affect me. However, this is pointless. Because yes, it's in the same update as a nightclub, but the terabyte has nothing to do with the nightclub. It has no link to it. So then why are you forced to buy the nightclub to get a terabyte? What about the players that want to use it for cargo, import, export, and client jobs and aren't interested in nightclubs? Some people will argue, but the nightclub has a garage space. There are plenty of other properties that have garage space for the terabyte. So this doesn't really make much sense to me. Other examples of paywalls include the gun running update, which had the worst ones. In gun running, in order to unlock explosive rounds, you had to buy the bunker and then research it, which would take so long. Research was random so you could get the item you wanted at the start or at the end, and paint skins were put into the research. Why do you need to research paint? A simple mechanic can make the same paint job, but here, you need scientists to research that. The research takes so long, and you can fast track it wasting money on it, and then the worst part is, when you unlock the item you want it, you also have to buy it. But if you're looking for explosive rounds, well guess what? Not only did you have to buy a bunker and research the item, but now you have to purchase a mobile operations center to get them. I understand that you need a bunker for explosive rounds, but how does it make sense that you need an MOC to buy explosive rounds? You have a bunker that is constantly producing guns. Why is there no workbench inside the bunker that allows us to buy explosive rounds or customize our guns? That makes no sense. Today we can buy the Avenger and the Terabyte to customize the guns, but at the time, it was just the MOC. And I still don't understand why you can't do it from the bunker. Why is this system in the game? My opinion, it's because the devs know that many people who will want these things will go broke buying all of them and all the paywall items, and they'll be more inclined to buy a shark card. That's why it's bad for GTA Online. It inconveniences players that are trying to enjoy the game. Some people feel like they can't enjoy the game without all these items, and when they see I need to purchase this and this and this and that to get this item, they're likely to give up on the game or buy a shark card. Some people are gonna say, oh, you're just complaining. Trust me, I have more than enough money in this game. I have all the properties. These paywalls don't affect me at all. This was a topic a subscriber wanted me to cover. I'm talking about the lowest level players, the ones who don't have a lot of money. It hurts them the most. There are plenty of players I have talked to who still don't own facilities because they do not see it as worth it to buy this huge underground base just to host a heist, when they can always be invited to a heist by a friend or join a random one. I don't blame them either, and it's ridiculous that you need this huge base to host a heist. It could have easily been an addition to the bunker instead of a whole new property that would have made the bunker more valuable because you can produce guns from it and host a doomsday heist. We also need a facility to house an Avenger when it could have easily been stored in a hangar as well. There are many more paywalls I could go on and on. Some things are understandable, such as needing an office for the crate warehouses, but others, such as needing a nightclub for a terabyte or an MOC for the Mark II bench, when it could have easily been in the bunker, makes no sense. And that is that for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. And if you're new to my channel and enjoy my content, then subscribe. I really hope the next GTA update avoids this paywall as well as Red Dead Online. That's why I always tell people to save up a ton of money, at least 20 to 30 million before updates, because most updates today are filled with paywalls and prevent you from completely enjoying them. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everyone.